One of the benefits of a smart home is the ability to access and control smart devices when you are away from home. Maybe you want to adjust the thermostat, lock or unlock a door, or turn lights on or off. If you are using Home Assistant for your home automation platform and you want to log in when you're away from home, then you'll need to configure remote access. There are several ways to do this though, and it can be confusing. In this video, I'll discuss various options for setting up remote access to Home Assistant, why I switched to using a Cloudflare tunnel, and take you step-by-step -step through the process. On this channel, I cover how tech can make you more productive, so if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let's do this. First, let's go over the remote access options. When I got started with Home Assistant and needed to enable remote access, I used port forwarding. To do this, I got a free domain through DuckDNS, an SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt, and then configured port forwarding on my router to my Home Assistant server. This method was completely free. However, port forwarding doesn't work if you have a carrier grade or CG NAT. While this wasn't an issue for me, port forwarding may pose some security concerns since it means your router is allowing outside devices to initiate connections to devices on your network. Because of this, I was interested in an alternative solution for remote access to Home Assistant. An alternative to port forwarding is a VPN, or virtual private network. I looked at VPN solutions through WireGuard or TailScale. While these allow for secure remote access, it requires a VPN connection to be established before connecting to Home Assistant. I didn't love the idea of having to bother with VPN connections. A simpler approach, in fact, the easiest way to get remote access would be with the Home Assistant Cloud from Nabucasa. Unlike the other options, Home Assistant Cloud is not free, but at $65 for the entire year, I think it's a reasonable price. Plus, paying for Home Assistant Cloud directly supports the developers of Home Assistant, and I think that's a good thing. If quick and easy are your priorities, then Home Assistant Cloud is probably the way to go. But the deeper I go into my home automation journey, the more I gravitate toward the DIY approach. So I decided to set up a Cloudflare tunnel for my remote access to Home Assistant. I chose to use a Cloudflare tunnel because it is more secure than port forwarding, doesn't require connecting to a VPN, works with Amazon and Google smart home platforms, and allows me to continue to access my Home Assistant server remotely from anywhere. It's also completely free, and Cloudflare is a company that I know and trust. But what is a Cloudflare tunnel? Basically, it creates a private link between your Home Assistant server and Cloudflare, resulting in secure, outbound-only traffic. To get started with a Cloudflare tunnel, you're going to need a domain name. Something like yourwebsitename.com. If you don't already have one, there are sites that claim to offer free domains. However, this felt a bit sketchy to me, so I opted to purchase my own domain. I know I said earlier that a Cloudflare tunnel is free, and it is, but that assumes you bring your own domain. The good news is that it's quite easy and inexpensive to purchase a domain. And if you purchase your domain from Cloudflare, the entire process is super turnkey. But just to be clear, I have no affiliation with Cloudflare and they have nothing to do with this video. Domain prices ranged from $5 to $45 per year for domain names that I was looking at. The one that I purchased was $25 for one year. Website domains ending in .com or .io tend to cost more. Once you have a domain name, create a free account with Cloudflare if you don't already have one. Then go to Websites in the top left and select or enter your domain. You may have additional steps to complete if you acquired your domain outside of Cloudflare. Then go to Home Assistant, Settings, Add-ons, and click New Add-on. In the top right, 
select Repositories, and paste in the Cloudflare add-on repository. You can find the link for this in the video description. Then hit Save. If you don't see Cloudflare in your list of add-ons, just try restarting Home Assistant. Once rebooted, open the Cloudflare add-on and click Install. Go to Configuration in the add-on, and then enter your domain name in the external Home Assistant hostname field. Click Save, and then start the add-on. I like to also enable Start on Boot and Watchdog. Once the add-on has started, go to Logs and look for a line that tells you to open a particular URL. Open that link in a separate window to authorize your Cloudflare tunnel. Once completed, you can return to the add-on in Home Assistant and refresh the logs to confirm you are successfully logged in. Then, go to the Documentation tab and scroll down until you find the Home Assistant Configuration section. Copy and paste the small bit of code into your Home Assistant config file and then restart Home Assistant. Once restarted, it's time to test out remote access from your domain name. Visit https colon forward slash forward slash your domain name dot whatever in your browser and you should, should be presented with the option to log into Home Assistant. If you did this on your home's Wi-Fi, you should also test this on your mobile phone by turning off Wi-Fi to simulate being outside your home network. Once you've confirmed that internal and external connections are working, you'll want to update the internal and external URLs for your home assistant network. Go to settings, network, and enter https colon forward slash forward slash your domain name dot whatever in the internet and local network fields under home assistant URL. You may need to do the same in the Home Assistant Companion app, which you can do by visiting Settings, Companion app, clicking your profile at the top, and then updating the internal and external URL fields as needed. At this point, you're all set, and you can now log into Home Assistant remotely using a secure Cloudflare tunnel. One thing that I noticed after moving to a Cloudflare tunnel was that the thumbnail images in my Home Assistant doorbell-related automations we're no longer updating. Instead of seeing a picture of who was at the front door in that moment, I was seeing an earlier cached image. To resolve, I had to update my automations to use the full URL of my new Home Assistant domain. For example, my automation previously pulled the image from this path. Once I updated to a path that included my full URL and made each image unique by adding a timestamp, everything started working again correctly. I'm really happy with the move from port forwarding to a Cloudflare tunnel. It was much easier and faster to set up than I expected. It gives me peace of mind knowing that I'm using a more secure method to log into my Home Assistant server remotely. And my Home Assistant loads even faster now, whether I'm on my home's Wi-Fi or connected remotely. Shout out to Tobias and the other contributors who built this great add-on for Home Assistant. Let me know in the comments what you're using to log into Home Assistant remotely. If you're interested in how I made my home network more secure, you'll want to check out the video here. Hit the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you become more productive. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.